in this video we'll be understanding if node and switch node inside na10 with examples this is arshdeep singh and you're watching n20 youtube channel so for solving any kind of condition inside your workflow we have two kind of nodes one is if node the other one is switch node let's just say we have this google sheet as you can see there is one node of google sheet if you haven't watched the previous videos i suggest you watch them where we covered trigger nodes in the first video the second video was about action nodes you can see both of them are being used in this video in this example right so let's just take one scenario we have a google sheet we have some data present inside that document and we want to extract some data not everything to achieve that we need to give some kind of condition right so for applying some kind of condition we have two nodes one is if the other one is switch so we'll start with if node right so i have updated the sheet with some random names and let's just let's just assume that this is a very large data set and we have thousands of entries and all i want is just people where they have capital a in their name so usually let's just say this is a very clean data set and only the first letter of every name is capital so in short all those names which starts with letter a so capital a i just want them right how to do that inside any time that will be happening with the help of if node before that we have to make few changes inside uh, our previous node which is from operation append or update row we have to select get rows because we want data from our sheet right so for that we have to change the operation rest will remain same let's just test this step once and let's just see the output perfect so we are having the output here in json format obviously uh, we can see that in schema format as well but in json you can see all the entries right so perfect this is coming the way we want to now let's just apply condition so for that to happen we need to connect one if node all right now the ui says that we have to provide some kind of value one and then there is this condition where we can select one condition and apply that all right so what i want is inside string i just want to see that if if that string starts with a particular letter right so there is this operation thanks to init and we'll select this and we'll simply drag our names here right and the second one could be a simple fixed string right we'll simply enter a okay and let's just check if this works or not right so something happened and i'm not sure what so if you can clearly see a number here you can see 17 items in total we have 17 items in this so those are the total items which we got from our sheet but after applying this condition we have five items in the true and in the false we have 12 items right so out of 17 12 are false and only five are true and that's how based on condition we have two different set of directions to go with right two different routes and now the further operations can be performed here right for true if, if i want to send some kind of email or i want to save that data in a different sheet i can do that for false i can do some another stuff right so that's how after this if condition we can do stuff right we can we can have a workflow in in, in two different directions now the same operation can be performed with the switch case as well um so switch and here also we have two things one is rules the other one is expression we'll just stick to rules right now and similarly we'll do the same thing here as well so let's just take names uh, equal to starts with and here a let's just for the sake of example we will take b this time and let's just see what's the output okay we got five items and as you can see these items here uh, all the names which started with capital b letter as you can see this list we have few entries with capital b and that's what we can see here okay let's just go back and let's just see right so now what's the difference why we have two different kind of uh, nodes and we are solving the same problem uh well there is one very important difference as you can see in if we have two ways to go with one is true the other one is false so it is fixed we have either true or false we can only make this workflow bi-directional that's it but with switch that's not the case initially you will see that there is only one output here but that's not the case actually we can add another route here so let's just say i want names and again similar kind of operation starts with and this time we'll change the entry to a right and let's just test this step so you will see that now we have two set of outputs and if i go back you can see we have two different output endings here right and so the benefit of using switch over if is whenever we have a situation where we want 
the workflow to go in different directions, in different routes. That's where we use switch. We can have not just two, but more than that. I mean, let's just create one another route here. So let me just again drag drop this names and let's just say this time anything which starts with letter capital C would be given in a different output, right? So okay, perfect. We have three different outputs here. So I hope you get the difference between using switch case and if case and the overall use case of both the nodes. In simple language, whenever we have to conditionally perform some kind of task inside our workflow, that's where we either go with if node or switch node based on whatever scenario we are facing, right? I hope we are clear with both the nodes. Until then, keep learning. I'll meet you in the next video.